and we are live. All righty. Uh, welcome, everybody. So, Brett Williams here from Life with Options and Conscious Brothers, uh, streaming across them both. So, you might be seeing me on the Life with Options page, or you might be seeing me on the Conscious Brothers page, uh, whichever one you're following. So, uh, just note that this message today, this this training that we're going to go through, which I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to do a bit of a screen share and we're going to go through a little bit of a, a, an exercise and a process because I want to make sure that I give you a massive, a massive amounts of value on this live training. And uh, yeah, the big thing that we're going to cover in here is how to be happier within a matter of moments and also at the same time being able to just clear up any uncertainty or self-questioning or anything along those lines. And uh, I know you're going to get massive, massive amounts of value in this training, uh, no matter where you are on your journey. Uh, but that being said, uh, I am going to attempt to share my screen. So that is the way we're going to work. I'm going to share my screen with my iPad. So just give me a moment and we're going to jump into a little bit of a fun training. Uh, here we go. Meanwhile, as you're jumping on here, let me know where you're tuning in from. Uh, whichever platform you're in. Okay, so it looks like you should be able to see my screen now. Let me just jump over here onto Facebook and just make sure that that's showing through. Oh, it didn't like me moving screens. Okay, so from what I can see, we can see it. So that being said, let's jump into this goodness right here, how to be happier in a matter of minutes. Uh, because at the end of the day, the big focus here is to really give you some tools to be able to transform what's going on for yourself in the moment and uh, ultimately have something that is going to help you out in this time. Because right now, maybe you're going through some struggles, maybe you're going through some challenges. And let's dive into an actual process that will be able to help you out. So I'm not too sure if you can see me still. I think you might be able to still see me up in the top of the corner of the screen. So I'll just keep talking to the camera as though uh, you can do. But that being said, uh, jump into it. So how to be happy in a matter of minutes. The first part is know who you are. Now, this is a big question that we go into in both the Path to Be Me program and the Be The Man program. It's actually the first week that we go into. And I tend to get a lot of like, kind of like, huh? Like, huh? What? And a lot of sort of confusion in things that might be showing up because I try and draw somebody who's confused, but that would probably be, be, be a right mess. So let me try and draw like a confused stick figure, hands on the head. Oh, somebody's confused. So this generally tends to be the reaction and the response that I get whenever I ask this question here, which is that good old one of who are you? Now, the reason for that, maybe this is something that's going on in your own mind right now. Maybe you're thinking, Brett, I ask myself who I am all the time and I have no idea. I get frustrated at myself every time I ask it. Whenever I ask that, I always come back with a negative idea or a negative thought or it just really drives me down a deep, dark hole. And if that's the case, then today I'm going to give you some tools and a different perspective on answering that question of who are you so that you're able to shift that because there is a there is a lot of benefit in this question in understanding who you are. But I think what's come back to society is that we've been conditioned to believe that we should be thinking in a particular way, that we are our identity. Let me just jump straight into the next slide. And this, this is probably where most of society tends to focus on. It's the identity. You know, this idea of, you know, I'm a mom, I'm a dad, I'm a brother, I'm a whatever your career is. So this focuses in around career, you know, mom, a dad, a, you know, it could be a brother, could be a sister, could be whatever your career is, as I said, it could be, you know, your social standing. Um, what else could it be? Your identity is also linked into, heck, it could also be your social media status. Oops, media status. So how many followers have you got? Or, you know, are you, how do you present yourself? How are you perceived 
by society through social media. You know, that could be another part in there as well. Um, your identity could also link back to, you know, how much money is in your bank account. Perhaps there's that question for yourself that's like, well, you know, I'm, I'm the one who always, always buys dinner or I'm the one who, uh, you know, I don't know, uh, drives a certain car. So your identity is linked back to your material things. Uh, material things. So your car, your, your handbags, your all of these sorts of things. And this is tends to be where society focuses on with that question of, you know, who am I? Whoops, and that isn't I there. That's not a, let me do, do this. Who am I? So that tends to be what is linked with this question is the identity. Now, today we're going to focus in on a little bit of a different perspective. I want to talk about something like your true traits. So the reason for your true traits, it comes back to being who you are at your core. And when we start to focus in on your true traits and really just connecting to who you are at your core. These are the sort of things that no one can take away from you, not society, not a bad relationship, not losing your job, none of these things. And the reason why I say this is a big focus of it, and this is a big focus of, as I said, the first week of, of both of the programs, the Path to Be Me and the Be The Man program. And the reason why we start here is first and foremost, if you are somebody who has been through an abusive relationship, if you've been through uh, you know, toxic work environments, or if you've been through some life challenges, then there is a high chance that you're this person back here that is going, I have no idea who I am. I'm just confused. I don't even know the answer to this question. I'm just really unsure. And so when we're able to get below all of the social conditioning of this, all of this stuff, you know, if we can get get below beyond, uh, below and beyond all of this, well, then all of a sudden, when you start to really connect to your true traits, all of a sudden, you are going to be somebody who is, I don't know if that should have two arms or not. Let's just get rid of one of those arms. You are somebody who is happy. And that, but there we go. You're somebody who is happy. And that's ultimately what it wants to come back to is being able to transform your happiness in a matter of minutes. Because if you are consistently focusing in and putting your happiness into all of these societal identity factors, you're not going to be happy. Because as soon as any one of these shifts, if all of a sudden social media disappears or your following reach disappears, well, then all of a sudden, because your happiness is based on how many followers you've got, you're going to be struggling for happiness. You're going to have a loss of identity again, because that thing that you've built your identity on has been taken away from you. You know, career, another good one. There's probably a, a large number of people right now with everything going on in the world that are struggling with their identity. If they put all of their identity into their career and as a result of everything that's going on in the world have perhaps lost the career. So if that's yourself, then just know, and by now there's a high chance that you've already acknowledged this for yourself. But if you haven't, then just check in. Have you been building your identity around your career? Because if so, now that it may not be there, or maybe that's showing up in a different way, how are you feeling? And if you are finding that you're falling down a dark emotional hole, well, then really start to focus in on these true traits, which I'm getting into in a moment. You know, mum, dad side of things can also be a, an element as well. If, if something happens to your children, for he heaven forbid, like, and I don't wish that upon anybody, but if that is something that takes place and then all of a sudden you're no longer in society based on having children, then, you know, how's that going to impact your emotional uh, health and mental state and things like that as well? So really being able to understand all of these elements. Now, that's not to say that you cannot have pride and all of these uh, aspects are really just the icing on the cake, but these do not make up who you are. They are aspects of you, correct, but they are not who you are. And there's a very dis distinctive difference between the two. And 
of course, material things, if that all disappears, well, then, you know, if the car that you've built your identity around disappears, then perhaps people who associate you as your identity with the car or the handbag or the shoes, whatever it might be, if that all of a sudden disappears, well, then that's going to create this, this uncertainty in who you are, because everybody's going to walk away in the sense that if that's who they believe you are, and you're not that person anymore, because now, because you based all your identity around that material thing, you found yourself now maybe moping around, unhappy, sad, lost, whatever it might be, which is a natural reaction if you have put your social um, standings and your identity and built your worth around these things, then being able to really start to be aware of it. And of course, you know, money, pretty self-explanatory, all of that is the same as well. And, and so are these other things here as well. And so when it comes to back to the true traits, now, true traits are things like being, you know, being a good listener. Uh, whoop. A good listener. I'm just going to do this. Being organized. Oops, there we go. I'm going to turn that. No judging on the writing and stuff, but anyway. <laughs> being, um, whoop. Let's go here. Being uh, mental blank for a second. Being a good listener, being an organized, being resilient. Be, you know, being someone who doesn't give up. Who does not whoop, give up. Um, you know, somebody who can change the, let me just do this. Somebody who can, you know, change the energy in a room, Oop. in a, a room, or just by walking in. All of these things are elements of you, and there's plenty, plenty more as well. And the reason why I say these are things are, tr are true traits, you know, being a good listener is something that nobody can take away. Your ability to connect will come out of this aspect of being a good listener. Your ability to be able to, you know, organize, it's pretty self-explanatory. But if you are somebody who is a good organizer for like events or something like that, it doesn't matter if there are no events around or there's, you know, the events that you were working at before have gone, it doesn't mean that you're not somebody who is a good organizer or that you're, you're an organized person. You know, being resilient. This is one's a big one that is really coming around society at the moment. It's this whole, like, whole notion of getting knocked down and, and getting back up. And so there's a high chance that you're somebody who is, you know, let's think of it another way, you're strong. And your ability to keep moving forward, even when you want to give up. And it's when you can start to refocus on all of these. And as I said here, you're somebody who doesn't give up. You're somebody who can change the energy in a room. These true traits are aspects to your core. These are things that nobody can take away. Now, where they might stem from is it can be, life experiences it can be just at your core you know who you are and perhaps especially in this who you are part perhaps in society or through life you've been told that you're too soft you're too nice you're too whatever it might be or you've believed that things like being able to walk into a room and change the energy is just too easy for yourself or maybe even any of these being organized being strong maybe you're you're giving the the uh the strength or giving the explanation of having to be strong is because you had to grow up at a very young age and that's fine but it doesn't take away from the fact that you're somebody who is strong or who is resilient or who doesn't give up so really being able to own these elements of yourself because as i said if you want to focus on all of these this is a, a losing game and when you can really start to focus in on here, that's when you're going to start to feel a lot happier within yourself because you're going to connect to your true self and you're going to be able to actually remind yourself of who you are based in and around all of this so that when you have those moments of weakness, when you have those moments when you want to give up, you can remind yourself, no, I'm strong, I'm resilient, I'm organized, I have all of these good things that I can give to the world. And that is what's going to lead to this version of you over here that is a lot happier and being able to self-regulate your emotions 
because if you do give it to the other things, you're going to fall down that dark spiral. And so ultimately, we want to start building our identity based around your true traits because it's a stable foundation for you to build upon. Now, a few few things to get into it as I was kind of got into some of this right here. The benefits of, of focusing on your true traits. You're able to center. Um, more confidence. Dance happier oops and you're able to just really change the way that you're showing up in life because if something is going on around you right now you're able to say stay more centered you're able to stay more confident more grounded um, and ultimately you know who you are oops let's do that you Ah, let, also let me know in the comments, which I'll have a look after this is happening. Are you enjoying this screen sharing uh, lesson? Because I'm enjoying this and I, I found this element in my iPad and I thought, you know, it'd be fantastic to do it. So I can't see the comments right now, but uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're getting out of this training and how is this concept of the true traits really resonating for yourself? Perhaps it's something that you've heard of before. Perhaps it's something that you've kind of like, thought of, but then maybe disqualified yourself to, to believe all of these elements of, of who you are. Because again, perhaps people have told you that you're bad for thinking that like that way or whatever it might be. So let me know in the comments below what's going on. Give me a thumbs up, give it a like, and uh, let me know. And we're, we're still moving through. So, you know, the benefits, as I said, focusing on this, you, you're centered, you're confident, you're grounded. And this one here is a, whoops, is a big part of it, knowing who you are. And the reason why I say that, if I've got my slides here, the one reason to focus on your true traits is that part. It's when you know who you are, you know who you're not. And this is huge because if you have been through a toxic or an abusive relationship or have been around friends or family that may gaslight you or you know some of these other things that are really coming to light right now, then there's a high chance that you've lost your identity because you're not questioning, sorry, you are questioning who you are. You've questioned your beliefs and all of these things. And so when you can really start to filter through and understand all of the things that you are by sitting down, maybe getting out a journal, writing it down and really connecting with yourself and actually understanding and uncovering what your true traits are about yourself. Now, you don't have to go share these with anybody. You can do this as an exercise just by yourself. But it's really powerful because this is the big part. You then know who you are not. And when you know who you are not, when somebody tries to impose or enforce their belief or question your comments or question your opinion about something, and that's when you second guess your intuition, well, then all of a sudden, now that you know that you, you know, who you are not, you're able to reconnect to your intuition and know your truth in that moment. Um, thinking of an example, let's just say, um, you know, the, a great one that, that comes up from time to time, the belief that you're a good person, whereas society or people around you, be it in a relationship, be it in work or anything like that might continually attempt to and maybe successfully reinforce the idea that you're not good at what you do, you're not a good person, and all of these things. Now, a lot of that, and this is going into a completely different topic, is all around social projections and other people's insecurities and things like that, and, and how that how you might be triggering those things within them, and then they're basically trying to re, um, recreate or like change the environment by bringing you back down so that they feel more comfortable because they're not in tune with their emotions and all this sort of stuff. But again, that's a side conversation that for another day, I just really want to focus in on the concept and the idea of questioning who you are, questioning your own identity. And that's what comes back to when you, when you believe that you've done something right, but somebody consistently, no matter what, keeps telling you that you're doing it wrong, you're not good enough, you're not whatever. And at the end of the day, whilst it is their projection and that would be as i said conversation for another day the focus in here is around really knowing your core true traits because when you can really connect into yourself and go no i am a good person and i do believe in what i've done 
and it is the it is my truth and it is all of these things well then when somebody tries to tell you that you're not good enough you're not worthy you're not whatever it is then you know that that is just bs and at the end of the day you can really start to separate the whole con uh, conversation that they're having with the one that's internal within yourself and that is where happiness really starts to stem from when you do know your identity and you are able to separate from other people's projections and know who you are at your core so that you're able to be able to self-regulate your emotions, your mental space, your happiness, and at the end of the day, feeling grounded, centered, and uh, confident within yourself. Because one thing that I always say is that whilst you may go to bed with somebody else, you always go to sleep by yourself. And so at the end of the day, you need to know that you've been true to yourself and you're able to be able to do that by knowing your true traits, knowing who you are and ultimately knowing who you're not and really being able to get clear on that. And that's going to also help with boundaries and things, which is not quite today's conversation, but it is a little bit in some sense. So that's a big part of it. So let me know in the comments below what's coming out of it for you here. Have you found yourself in a situation where you have been believing what other people have been telling you? And now all of a sudden these two are getting massively blurred and you're like almost taking on the who you are not part as your actual identity. Because if that's the case, then you're probably not happy in life right now and you're probably feeling quite lost and just confused. So remind yourself to go back to the true traits. Where are we? True traits, you know, are you a good listener? Are you somebody who's organized, resilient and strong? Somebody who doesn't give up, able to change the environment when you walk into a room. And these are just elements of who you are at your core. They may be something that comes easy for yourself. They may be something that you've learned through life experience. Maybe organized side of things is something that's come up through, uh, you know, career or fa raising family or whatever it might be. But at the end of the day, it's now a skill that you've embodied and it's part of who you are. And again, it's part of your true traits. So it's a big, massive part of all of that because when you, as I said, when you know this, you're able to separate the two and you're really able to, to know who you are at your core. And at the end of the day, instead of blurring these two together, you're able to draw a line down the middle and say no. And let's just, seeing as my little funny face is, is drawing out the way that it is, and I'm just gonna do this. Because when you can separate and know who you are as to who you are not, it's gonna lead to greater happiness. Now, I know that was extremely cheesy and I just thought of that on the spot and I thought it was amusing. So I'm just going to put it in there because there's some truth in that whole idea, being able to know who you are and know who you're not. And that is the big message that I want to leave, leave you with today. Uh, so again, as I said, let me know in the comments below. Hopefully this has been really massively transformational for yourself and you've got a lot of value out of this. Hopefully it's opened your mind to a couple of other different ideas and now starting to have that self-inquiry to allow yourself to be able to connect back to your true traits, find that inner happiness so that you're able to have more fulfillment in life, in career, relationship, in any other area that you're not feeling fulfilled and happy within at the moment. And ultimately a big part of this is coming back to being able to really just go after the dreams and live the life that you want to. Because if you are somebody who's going down that path on an entrepreneurial space or whatever it might be, because now you may have been forced to go actually go and create that security for yourself. When you know who you are and you know who you're not, well, then you're able to really just empower yourself and keep true to your path. So that being said, if you want any more information about the programs, Path to Be Me or Be The Man program, then these are the links there. You can go and check them out on lifewithoptions.net or on consciousbrothers.net. So that being said, appreciate you for tuning in. Uh, as I said, leave a comment down below. Uh, let me know what you've got out of this training. And uh, I'm not even sure. Here we go. I'll stop sharing and come back to yourself. So leave a comment down below. I really appreciate you for tuning in. Uh, I want to be doing a little bit more of these in the, in the future as well. And let me know what you thought of the little screen share. I had fun doing it. So hopefully you enjoyed it as well. That being said, I wish you an amazing day, night, afternoon, evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. And I'll speak to you soon. Cheers.